Hey there guys! So, I figured I could try something a little bit different for my channel. I could just do some random vlogging. I don't think I'm gonna necessarily call it like vlogging, but it's just random times throughout my day. Maybe something pops up and I want to talk about it. So I'll talk about it or I'm doing something a little bit interesting. So I'll mention that. So in this video, I am actually doing a couple of things. I am trying out the pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks that people rave about and also the new apple crisp macchiato so I'm doing that now I already did that part of it but I did not introduce what this video is about so that's what I am doing now and then I'm also going to do some cooking with you guys and some shopping so you're gonna see little bits and pieces and I think I can do these videos sporadically let me know if you like this kind of content if they're like hot topics, I'll also like speak about them like car chat style, but not really car chat Just like quick hot takes nothing too involved Let me know if that works and we'll keep doing them. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video So let's get into it and I'll see you soon. So I was just thinking right so my job wants us to be back in the office officially starting October 1st, which is a Friday. So really it's like October 4th but here's my question. So I'm out and about today, right? I'm in my little off the You know how I do the off the shoulder. So I'm in my off the shoulder little one to see and no bra. Like, I'm sorry if this makes you uncomfortable, but I'm not wearing a bra. I don't wear a bra anymore. Like, so what is the expectation when I go back into the office? Like, am I expected to wear a bra? Because, um, will more than likely wear a bra because I work with mainly men like 90 yeah about not mm, yeah 90 percent of my office would be male you have some female engineers not enough to be honest I think on my floor like the area that I'm in right now we're down to two so it's just me and another woman in my department, which is interesting because our department is the only department with female engineers. The other departments are all male. And then we have like customer service and sales. We have some females there. But so anyway, 90%, maybe even 95% male. So I'm gonna need to wear a bra just because I'm not, I'm not able, okay? Or maybe, I, ooh, I can wear nipple covers. Cause it's really the nipple that they're looking at. It's not, I mean, a little bit of the boob, like they're looking for the shape of the boob. But I mean, the bra gives you a shape to the boob. It's really the nipple, right? The nipple is the situation. So I'm gonna have to navigate that. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Alright, so I just made it back from the mall. I went to Sephora to grab some fashion fair items because a lot of you guys were asking me to review them. And I was intending on doing it anyway because I'm all about like black owned brands, but I have to double check if fashion fair is still black owned. I mean, they went out of business. They used to be at Macy's and they're back with a few products and I gotta double check if it's still black owned because you know you never know but it's it's mainly foundation and powders so what do you call those um coverage ba base products base products so i have two powders a pressed and a loose 
and two foundations, a stick and a cream to powder to test out, as well as their primer. So you're going to see that coming up. But I figured since it's fall and I've never had a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. I know, like it's the thing to do during fall, right? Like I've never had that. I don't really do Starbucks. I'm a Dunkin' Donuts kind of person and I tried the pumpkin spice latte at Dunkin' Donuts a couple of years ago. I, I haven't been to Dunkin' Donuts for well over a year now, but I tried their pumpkin spice latte and it was disgusting. It tasted like dirt. And I was like, oh, absolutely not. No, 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 no. But so many people rave about the pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks and they also have this apple crisp thingamajig. And I saw it when I was coming out of the mall, like they have a sign at Macy's. So I'm like, you know what? Today is the day we're gonna try it out. I took it as a sign. I took it as a sign and we're gonna try that out today. So you guys are gonna experience that with me. So I know a Starbucks drive through is coming up. So we're gonna pull in and get it. And I think I know how to order. Like I've researched this. Like I, I knew this ahead of time, how to order. Like you put the, the actual iced or hot first and then the size and then the type of drink. Oh, I'm on it, okay. I've been to Starbucks a couple of times. Yes, like I've ordered things. Like I'm not new to Starbucks, but there's like a certain way that you order. I guess it's the Starbucks etiquette. I guess it works out better for the baristas to be able to select the cup and all that stuff. So I know how to order and we're going to try out the pumpkin spice latte. I'm going to do that hot and then the apple crisp macchiato iced, but not, I'm not going to order it that way. But yeah, we're going to try it out right now. I feel like after saying that I'm going to jinx myself now and order some crap. So <laughs> oh my God, I'm going to order this wrong, aren't I? All right, let's, let's pull up and just read the menu. I can read it off the menu. It's fine. It's fine. Hi, um, can I have a tall iced apple crisp macchiato? Sure, anything else? And a tall pumpkin spice latte hot. Anything else? Um, the, the latte comes with whipped cream, right? Yes, it does. Okay, perfect. That's it. All right, so it's going to be 1032. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. 1032 bitch <laughs> why y'all so expensive i swear to god i messed up the latte part i should have said the hot part i forgot um so it is what it is but 10 what hold on now uh -uh. hi how's it going it's gonna be 1032 thank you go. can i have a tray please yeah, sure. thanks thank you so one. much you too all right, I have to do this safely, so I'm gonna pull around. All right, all right, all right. I have pulled around, and I'm gonna put these in my personal cup holder. The hot one is going to take a little while to cool down. Listen, I've ordered Starbucks, and the freaking top came off the hot one, and oh, it burnt the hell out of my legs. So I think they got sued. Didn't they get sued? So I thought that problem was fixed, but apparently not because I almost died. But whatever, we're gonna let that cool and we're gonna we're gonna taste it and see. And I think this needs to get stirred. So this is the apple crisp macchiato. I only got talls because I don't drink that much coffee. Like, come on now. And I'm only sampling them out. I got two, so I don't need to be doing a full size. That's the other thing. Like, why is it a tall? The tall is so weird. Tall, grande and venti that was always weird to me i'm gonna stir this up we're gonna let the latte cool and we're gonna try it out <laughs> okay all right guys so i am home which means it's time to test out the coffee so if you ever bought me a coffee from the link i have below this is the result so thank you for buying me a coffee and we're gonna try it out so we have the pumpkin spice latte which is still cooling it looks it looks really light and a little bit orange is that the pumpkin spice okay we're not gonna taste that just yet I'm gonna do the apple crisp macchiato so I'm gonna stir this around because there there seems to be the espresso at the top 
and then the milk, and then whatever syrup they added. So let's mix. So let's just stir that around, and then we're going to taste it. All right, all right, all right. All right, so we're going to try the apple crisp macchiato first, okay? So this is the iced. That is delicious, actually. So it tastes like a macchiato. I would expect the macchiato to taste, right? But it has a little bit of like a graham cracker crust taste. Mm, kind of apple pie-ish. Kind of apple crispish, actually. That's good. And it's just the right level of sweet. It's not too sweet, but it's not too tart. Like macchiatos can be a little bit strong because they have like extra espresso. But it's not extra espresso, it's just more, less milk, whatever. Mm. That is good, I like that. I like that. It's not as, it doesn't taste as strong of espresso as I expected. All right, time for the latte. All right, let's try this out. Yes, I do also have a Coke from McDonald's. Don't judge me, okay? I'm drinking all the things. All right, let's try this. Is it too hot? Is it gonna taste funny now after I had the macchiato? Let's try. Mmm. I don't know what that tastes like. I'm gonna like rinse my mouth out because I don't think I'm tasting, I'm still tasting the apple crisp. So I'm gonna let this chill and taste it again in a second. All right, let's try that again. Mm. It's, it's, mm. it's not as strong as I expected. I expected a little bit more pumpkin spice flavor. It's very slight. I taste the pumpkin spice. Like I bake and I use pumpkin spice in stuff, but this is very, very light. Is this supposed to taste like that? I mean, it's good. It tastes good, but it's not strong. Maybe I got a weak one. Hmm. I like it. I, I, I could drink it. It's a little bit extra on a caramel latte. Like it has that little cinnamon flair, that little pumpkin spice flair, but it's not, mm, I can see how you would like this, especially in the fall. Um, out of the two of them, I prefer the apple crisp because that definitely is distinctly like an apple crisp, crummy, like, you know what I'm saying? That is delicious, but this is also good and I'm gonna drink both of them now. I'm gonna finish this one because it's good. It's nice and warm and cozy, but it's not what I was expecting. I expect, ooh, mm -mm -mm -mm. I was expecting it to be a little bit stronger, but both good. Would I necessarily go and get this again? No, would I get the apple crisp again? Yeah, but for $10, for two, talls? What? So you're telling me that one of them is $5 for this? That's why I don't go to Starbucks. How are you affording this daily? And sometimes a couple of times a day, are you serious? So that's like one a day for the entire week is $35 for the tall, but you guys are getting the grande. So how much is the grande? Hmm? Hmm? So we're talking $35 a week? For what? And then if I get two, cause I'm, you know, extra, then that's 70, Lord have mercy, for the tall. You know what? Delicious, thank you so much, but I'm gonna stick to my $1 Coke from McKitty's. But it was good, it was still good. All right guys, it's day two and I'm back at Starbucks and we're gonna try this again. Somebody said to do the double pump of syrup, so that's what I'm gonna do. Hi, I'm gonna get started for you today. Hi, can I get a grande hot pumpkin spice latte with a double pump of syrup, please? Hot pumpkin spice latte with a what? Uh, double, double pump of syrup. 
Just the only two pumps you said? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Did you still want the whipped cream on that? Yes, please. Okay. Anything else? That's it. Okay. Five seventy. Thank you. You're welcome. Did I order that wrong? How am I supposed to order it? Y'all are gonna need to tell me exactly how to order, okay? You Starbucks lovers, tell me how I need to state what I want, because I'm confused. Like, the only thing I know is like the most basic, like, oh, I want a latte or I want a hot coffee or a hot chocolate, and then I tell you the size, and that's it. Like, I don't know how to do all the fancy ordering, so you guys are gonna need to tell me how. So we're, whatever, I'm gonna do it and we're gonna see how it goes. All right, so let's try this pumpkin spice latte again. I don't think they added anything extra to this to make it sweet. It tastes like, this just tastes like a lot, a hot latte without any sweetener. Like there's no caramel, there's no spice. It don't, I don't like it. I have given up officially. I like the apple crisp, but not the the latte. There you have it. But anyway, let's go to the supermarket and then I'm gonna show you my dinner that I'm preparing, which is a black mushroom risotto. I will leave the recipe down below in case you're interested. It's I, This is my first time making risotto, so I'm gonna try it out. And then I have seafood that I wanna make. It's from, I'll show you, let me insert it right now. This is from one of my favorite Japanese Asian fusion restaurants. They make the most delicious seafood risotto. It's a black rice mushroom risotto. It's so good, so I wanted to try to make it. And then of course with the seafood. So that's what I'm gonna make now for dinner. All right guys, so here I go trying to make the risotto that I fell in love with. So I'm starting off with olive oil, minced garlic, and shallots in here to create that flavor. I have my vegetable broth over here ready to go. And then I have my black rice and my mushrooms. So let's see how it goes. All right, I think that's ready. So I'm gonna put my mushrooms in and I think it says five, four to five minutes for it to fully cook. And these mushrooms are oyster mushrooms and then shiitake mushrooms. I just slice them and wash them to make sure they're nice and clean. And I'm just gonna go ahead, make sure these are cooked. And you need to add salt. So I'm gonna add some sea salt, garlic, pepper salt that I'm gonna try to add in, and also just some black pepper. All right, I added that in. Let me turn the flame off, jeez. And okay, so the mushrooms obviously have some water content, so it's more of like a saute now, but I'm gonna allow those to cook before we add the rice in. So this recipe called for white cooking wine. I did not have white, I have marsala and red, so I just <laughs> used red. So we're just gonna go with it, all right? I didn't add too much, but I figure red can go with mushrooms and like black rice, like. And now I'm adding the rice. It says to stir it around until all the liquid is absorbed and then you start adding the broth. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna keep doing this and then as the moisture or the liquid gets absorbed, then I'm supposed to keep stirring and adding in like the broth. So that's what I'll do. Okay, um, things are happening, you know. I think it's at a pretty good texture. I'm almost done with the broth. I don't think I might need all that broth. I'm just gonna keep stirring until it gets to the thickness with, as far as the liquid goes. That needs to dry out, child. And I think the texture of it is risotto, but you see how it's watery? Dry out, so I'm gonna keep stirring. I'm stirring up a storm and then yeah, I'm gonna add the Parmesan after. It's been about half hour, so it's a half hour to like 45 minutes, maybe more depending on how much you're cooking. So I'm just gonna keep at it. And for the risotto, I'm going to do seafood, so I'm just gonna quickly saute some shrimp. 
And I also have scallops and a little bit of lobster. So I'm going to just do that quickly. All right, now I think we're at the right consistency. See how it's goopy and not too liquidy. And so I'm gonna add the Parmesan. Um, I like it cheesy, so I'm just gonna add pretty decent, okay, that's enough. <laughs> pretty decent amount and stir that in. Ooh. And we'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, oh yeah, get in there. And here are my scallops. Okay, I think. All right, so the risotto is done. My seafood is done, but I wanted to make a cream sauce. Ah oh, yeah, that's thick. It's just um, heavy whipping cream with butter, a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder to give it flavor, but it's, it's nothing crazy. Oh, and a little bit of salt, but nothing crazy, just a little cream sauce for the seafood. So here is my dinner, guys. It looks so good. I can't wait to taste it. Hopefully it tastes as good as it looks, <laughs> as good as I'm expecting it to. And I went to Red Lobster to get some cheesecake for dessert. I'm not gonna eat all of this actually. I do like their cheesecake. It's actually pretty good because it has like the cheesecake, the graham cracker crust, and then this white bean, what a moussey thing. I, it tastes good. Look how it, look at this. Look at this mess, but I'm gonna eat like half of it or a third of it, we'll see, but yeah. That's my dinner, guys. Thank you so much for hanging. Again, let me know if you want me to keep doing videos like this. And if you do, I will continue to do just that. But thank you guys for hanging out with me for a little bit. I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.